Yes, by Robert Truax. A good crowd turned out at a far corner of Fremont Airport to watch as Truax conducted the last in a series of engine tests. Truax told New Center 4's Wayne Friedman he wants to build a privately a funded space shuttle. I wouldn't, otherwise, I wouldn't have invited the press in. Well, there it burns, so let's see if it's going to take off. Burning that fuel up down in Fremont. Well, the four engines burned for 57 seconds, giving off 4,000 pounds of thrust. Now Truax says all he needs is funding, and then he will put a man into space. Become part of the first privately owned space fleet in the world. It is the dream of Bob Truax. He wants to compete with NASA taking payloads into space. He has worked on this project for more than five years, and today's test was important. This is the last test in a series to qualify the flight engine, the engine that we expect to use on the first flight rocket. Uh, we have, the ones we have done before might be called breadboard engines or experimental versions. This, we think, is our production engine. Truax was pleased when the ignition button was pushed. The main engines of the rocket performed perfectly. Truax says he's a million dollars short of completing the project, but if he got the money tomorrow, he thinks he could be carrying payloads into space in a year and a half astronaut into space. He tested the rocket's engine Saturday. They worked fine. So today he started building the final version of that rocket, the one that will actually carry a man into space. Truax is a Saratoga engineer. He's already spent $600,000 on the project. All he needs now is a million dollars more. And his dream could become a reality.